Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we're going to learn how to make a donate button for our web page. But we're not just going to have any kind of donate button, we're going to have any kind of image that we want so we won't have the typical PayPal button. So if you see, I just went to Google Images and I typed in PayPal donate and this is the default button they will give you if you want to um, have a donate button for your web page. It's not that bad but the problem is it's kind of small. Uh, the credit cards look really bad in this, really low quality. It just doesn't look good. So what I did, if you go to my site, gmustudent.com, and you will see on my home page, I designed my own donate button that fits with my um, advertisements perfectly. It's the right dimensions that I wanted, and it easily says donate now with PayPal. So if you click this, it is a regular donate button and it will go to paypal.com, it will have the email address of whoever you are donating it to, it will say thank you for donating, and it will say Christopher Carrington, founder of GMU Student. So the person who's donating knows exactly where they are, and they can easily put in their dollar amount here, update total, and then pay. And they can have PayPal, they can have any kind of credit card whatsoever. So as you can see, we can take any image that we want and easily make it a donate button. So what I'm going to do is, what you need for, in order to do this tutorial, you're going to need Dreamweaver, you're going to need, you might want to use Photoshop just so that you can edit whatever kind of button that you want. And you are also going to need to have your site defined, have your hosting up, and have everything like up online. So if you have all that stuff, then we can get started. So I'm going to pause this um, tutorial really quick, and I'm going to come back with you guys. But right now, what I need you to do is open up Photoshop and design your button. So design whatever kind of button you want, and I'll be right back with you guys back guys so now we have our donate button you should have made your donate button now and I have my site open in Dreamweaver so this is where my donate button is going to go so follow along with me and I'll show you exactly how to make this thing work so let's go into Photoshop have your button already ready and save it so just save it as like a PSD or something like that and then after you save it you want to save it as a JPEG or a GIF or something like that so go file save for web and devices and find the quality that you want. So I want mine to be very high since it's going to be at the top of all my web pages. So you can change it here to JPEG or GIF and then you can change the quality over here if you're not very familiar with where we are right now. But once you change the quality and you have something that you like, click Save and then call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine PayPal.JPEG and save it. Since I already had one, I had to replace it. So now we want to go into Dreamweaver and find wherever you want that PayPal button to go and just click into that space. So uh, make a little space for wherever you want your button to go and insert that image. So go Image, find your PayPal button. So here's my PayPal button and click Choose. And we don't need any alternate text for this. So now that you have your PayPal button in there, you want to upload this site to the web. So I'm going to save my template. Save, update. So you put your button in there and find probably your index file and put it onto the web. It has to be put on the web, so don't skip this step. So um, I want to put dependent files, give it three seconds. Just put up the PayPal button and now we're done. So after you put it up to the web, you need to go to your site. So I'm going to go to gmustudent.com. And here is my button. It obviously doesn't work, but the reason we did this is because you need a URL for that button. So right click the button and do copy image address. Make sure you're copying the address, not the image. So click that. Now let's go to PayPal. So let's go paypal.com. So sign into PayPal, either sign up with a new PayPal or log into your PayPal. If you're a web designer, you probably have a PayPal by now, but um, create one if you don't. So I'm just going to sign into mine. And let's give it a second. Okay, so now that we're in PayPal, we're going to go to Merchant Services. And we're going to come down to Donate. So once you're in Donate, make sure to choose a button type is that Donations. And let's type in here, thank you 
for donating. And then in the next tab, let's type in our name. So I'm going to put in Christopher Carrington, founder of GMU student. Okay, so now we want to come to customize text and appearance. And if you want the regular PayPal button, you can just keep this button, but we're going to use our own button. And this is why we needed to have that address. So paste in that address that we saved before. And now we're done. So just go create button. So now it's going to give you all of the um, coding for that button. So just click in there, right click and copy. And let's come back to our Dreamweaver file and let's delete that image. And then inside that div or that table, wherever you have it, just put a couple enters and paste in the um, code for that button. It's a lot of code. So then refresh it. And I'm going to save my template. Close. So now when I go and put my index file up again, save dependent files. So now it'll go through all of the code. So now I'm going to go back to my website, gmustudent.com. And now my button is clickable. And when I click it, I should go to that PayPal page. And it will say thank you for donating and it will say Christopher Carrington, founder of GMU Student. The person is able to put in as much or as little as they want to donate and then they can donate. So this is how you make any button that you want a donate button for your web page. Thank you for watching. This has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and I hope this tutorial was useful.